Welcome to the morning news. Please support growing channel by the press subscribe. Navy FA-18 jet crashes off Key West, official says. A U.S. Navy FA-18F Super Hornet jet crashed off the coast of Key West, Florida, on Wednesday, an official told Fox News. One pilot and one weapons systems officer ejected from the twin-engine jet which crashed around 4.30 p.m. on final approach to Boca Chica Field at Naval Air Station Key West, the Navy said in a statement. A source told Fox News that the jet was flying back on one engine when it lost the other at low altitude. Both crew members, based out of Naval Air Station Oceana in Virginia Beach, Virginia, were taken to the Lower Keys Medical Center. There was no immediate word on their condition. A marine owner in the Florida Keys told WPLG that the Hornet jet caught fire midair, then crashed. The Navy stated the F-A-18F was conducting a training flight. The Super Hornet is a twin-engine fighter jet that is larger than the single-seat F-A-18 Hornet. The crash remains under investigation. President Trump during a roundtable at Boeing on Wednesday called the F-A-18 a work of art and said that he's working with Congress to fund 24 new jets. The jet was from the VFA-213 Blackland Squadron. Last year, the same squadron deployed aboard USS George H. W. Bush to conduct ISIS strikes in Iraq and Syria. Earlier this month, an F-A-18 from the squadron performed a rare nighttime flyover in Annapolis, Maryland, ahead of a Capitals vs. Maple Leafs outdoor NHL hockey game played at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. In November, the head of naval aviation told Congress that only half the Navy's 542 F-18 Super Hornet jets can fly right now and mostly 31% are fully mission-capable and ready to fly tonight. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget subscribe to the channel.